When I walked into that conference room, I felt anxious. Judged. Nervous. Like, no one there looked like me. Maybe they would think I wasn't good enough. Like, I had to go above and beyond just to prove myself. Probably none of them came from where I did. Or saw things the way I saw them. I remember my mind was racing. What were they thinking? Would they give me a chance to contribute, or would I just sit there? And if they did or didn't, would I dare to speak up? But then something happened. At a certain point, the group leader turned directly to me and said, so what do you think? They invited me to be part of the conversation. To truly be a part of the team. And they listened. It meant a lot to me. After the meeting, we got to chatting. And as we started sharing each other's stories, I realized it wasn't just me. There was actually quite a lot we didn't know about each other. The more you know about me. And the more you know about my story. You begin to realize that it's not the entire story. Let's all be a part of each other's story. I am proud of all that I've accomplished, but realize I am still on my journey. I am a Latina, a first-generation American, and the first lawyer in my family. I'm a father of three children, an IT professional, technologist, a poet, a martial artist. I'm the son of two Korean immigrants who gave everything so that their son could live the American dream. I'm a hiker, I'm a road biker, and I'm a student of photography.